Randlin man here. All right. Now I got this request from my aunt and I hadn't told this story in a long time. So it's really funny though. Um, I figured I'd lighten the mood a little bit. First off, let me tell you a little bit about the time that, uh, well, let me just start here. How many of y'all know what colic is when it, in, when it comes to regarding a horse? So they always define it like as abdominal pain. But what it really is, is, is just that. You can be caused from many different things. A lot of times it's just like high concentrations of feed. Sometimes I know horses can eat like the mesquite beans, things like that. Just all kinds of things are the cause of it. A lot of it's just gas or impaction, you know, so it's like being constipated. And one of the things you do with a horse is you walk it. So my cousin is five years younger than I am. I'm about 14 or 15 so it makes him nine or 10. Now we walk this horse and keep in mind, this is like my uncle's favorite horse. His name's Fella and he's just awesome horse and everything. And he'd pay a lot of money for him. And so our instructions were, make sure you walk this horse. Don't forget you walk this horse every day. We need you to walk this horse down to the cemetery and back. So this is on a dirt road. You know those little country cemeteries? Well, in front of the cemetery, they have like a little gravel parking lot. And so it's right on the corner of the crossroads. So we walk down, it's probably a good quarter to half mile down there, maybe half mile down to the cemetery. So we're walking, we walk this horse on a lead rope, we walk him down there and walk him back. We do this two or three times a day. Well, one time we take him down there and we're walking him around, we get to the uh, parking lot and we're off the road there and we're walking around, walking around, walking around. And all of a sudden, he just starts <clears throat> going crazy, right? I mean, just running around. And he's jumping up and down. And my cousin has the lead rope. I'd already let go. And, I, and I'm sitting there like, and this horse is starting to do a little bucking. I said, Josh, come here. And I grab my cousin. I pull him away. As I pull him away, this horse does a complete flip right over the top of his head. Lands. <sighs> just, just, you can imagine a horse, 1,000 pounds, easy. Just flip over, boom, hitting the ground, and just lays there. And so I was like, what do we do? And you're looking at this horse, it's just no movement at all. We're like, what in the world? So I said, I, I, th I think he's dead. My cousin runs back to the house, calls, calls uh, his stepdad. He comes running, you know, flying there. Like I said, it's his favorite horse. And so they talked to us, and everybody's like, what does he look like? What, what, does it do? what did he do? I explained the whole story, how it went down. I said, what does it look like? I said, like this. So everybody laughed after that point. But it was really the saddest thing because this horse died. But had I not grabbed my cousin, he probably would have died too because this horse just flipped head right over hills. So this is just some of the experiences I had as a kid. It's amazing that we're still alive and that other things didn't die. But yes, my aunt still refers to, remember how you killed our horse? Yeah, that, that would be me. So I hope you enjoyed that story. Um, make sure you subscribe. I'll have more content coming soon. Have a great day. Random Man, out.